hi guys welcome once again today we are going to learn how to model this cool mockup inside of blender to learn how to add these details to our model and how to model our cup like this and we will learn how to use frigid body simulation to fill our cup up with these pills and a lot of other cool tricks and stuff let's get started let's open up blender and go to general start okay I'll hit S to delete this cube. I'll select my light X to delete. We start with the top part of our plastic jar. So we do Shift A and I'm going to add a plane. Okay. I'll do R for rotate and I'm going to rotate it on the Y axis by hitting Y and then 90. Okay. So we tab into edit mode. I'm going to select these two edges X and I'm going to delete these vertices. I'll tab out of edit mode to back to object mode. Let's add a modifier. We are going to add a screw modifier. Increase the screw to two. And then change the axis to X. And then let's increase the iteration to two. Okay. We have this. We tab. Let's apply. So we go to apply to apply our modifier we tab into edit mode do a to select all m and then let's merge this vertices so that they become one so let me do alt z once or a second so let me select this g you see they are separated so let's do a and then m and we are going to merge the by distance to add match them together so now if I do, if I select and I'll do G to move, you can see they are now merged together. Okay. I'll select all and I'll do S to scale and the X, Z as is. I'll bring it down a bit like this. Okay. So I'll jump like this. Okay. So I'll go to my edge select mode. I'm going to select all these edges on the top here. So I'll do Alt click to select all. I'm going to hold shift to remove this part. Now, before I do that, let's add uh, let's add a loop cut to loop cuts at the middle. So I'll do control R and I'll scroll my mouse wheel up <coughs> to add two loop cuts at the middle like this. Okay, so now let's select the top part of our shape. So we'll go to hit two, face select mode, alt click, and then I'm going to hit shift. I'm going to hold shift, click on this three. Three, three edges to deselect them. Now do E for extrude on the Z axis. I'm going to move it up like this. Okay. I'll do S and then Z and then zero. S Z zero. Make sure all of them are aligned on the same plane. And then G C to bring it down like this. I'll do the same for the bottom. So I'll hold click to select all. And then I'll hold shift and now click on this three to deselect those three. So we have all the top parts selected E for extrude. And on the Z axis, I'm going to pull it up like this. Then I'm going to hold, I'm going to click shift Z and then zero. Okay, so let's do G, Z, and then bring it down a bit like this. Okay, so let's match. Let me go to one and click here. Let's merge these two, this side together and this side together. Like, let me do G. You can see they are not merged. Okay. And to do that, I'm going to select this face right here. Now go back to my edge select. I'll hold shift click on these three edges to deselect them. Right click and subdivide. Okay. I'll pull this up. Now increase my cuts to three. So that I have three cuts here. So I'll go back to my head, my points, my vertices. And you can see I have three. I've divided this, this edge into three. Okay. So we are going to slide these edges to bring them near to these points, these edges here. Okay. So to do that, I'll select this edge, double tap G for slide. I'll bring it up, make sure they are close enough. 
I'll select this, double tap G, now bring it up. Now I'll do the same for this one. Double tap G, now I'll bring it up. Make sure they align as close as possible. I'll do the same for this. So I'll first select the face. I'll change to this. Hold shift, click on this three. Right click and then go to subdivide. I'll increase my cut to three. So that it's divided into three. I'll go back to vertex select. Okay, we have our three edges. I'll select this one, double tap G. Same for this one. Then the same for this one. Okay. With that done, I'll, I'll click A to select all. And then M to merge by distance. Okay. Let's increase our merge distance by adding one. So we have eight vertices removed. Let me tab out of edit mode. Let me go into edit mode once again. Let's check whether they are they are matched. So I'll do G. Now you can see they are matched. Okay. So now let's select our loop across and then extrude. You no. Know. To do that, you go to face select. Hold Alt. Make sure you're selecting this face. So one, two, three. This face, the third one. You hold Alt and click here to select all these faces. So we do extrude, extrude along normals, then we bring it in, we bring it out like this. Okay. So I'll tap out of edit mode. So let's add our subdivision surface. Let's increase it to two. So we have this. Now let's push these two edges back and in a bit so that we create that smooth transition so to do that we do g then we do x and we bring it back like this and then we do g y and we bring it in like this the same for this g x bring it down then g y we bring it in like this okay so let me select all. let me select all then we do s and then z then we scale it down on the z-axis something like this is fine okay so let's align align our objects our geometry to the origin so we tap out of edit mode go to object then set origin we go to the geometry to origin so our geometry is now aligned to our origin now we are done with the top part of our pill our pill jar Let's continue our pill bottle. Let's continue with the bottom part. Okay. So with my edge select mode, I'll hold Alt and click to select all these bottom edges. I'll do E for extrude. Z. Now extrude it on the Z axis like this. I'll do E, Z, extrude it down to somewhere here. And then S for scale going to scale it up like this no let's let's do G let's bring it up like to here and let's do E then Z to extrude this down here then I'll do S for scale I'll do S to scale it up somewhere here it's fine and then do E Z to bring it down. Let's do G Z to bring it down a bit. Okay. Somewhere here. I think it's fine. Now let's do E X. E S. Let's bring it up a bit. So we do G Z to bring it up. Then E S bring it down somewhere here. Then let's go to our face. We'll do a great fill to fill it up okay so let's tighten up our edges here the top and then the bottom by selecting wooden alt click to select this edge shift alt click to select this edge then we'll do ctrl b to bevel so let's scroll it up to add another bevel so i'll bring it somewhere here yes i think it's fine for me 
so our, our pill bottle is ready let's quickly model the cup for that let me go to my face select mode and let me out click on this face and then let's extrude along the mouse so that we have something like this So let's tighten up this edge by selecting here and selecting here control b okay so we have something like this to go with so we are going to our top view by hitting on this z axis here so we are looking at the top view we do shift a then we are going to add a circle let me go to my wireframe mode so we can see our circle here okay so we are going to increase the vertices we are going to multiply it by three so we do times times three now let's do times four sorry yes let's add the circle once more so circle we'll do 32 times third times times four so we have 128 vectors okay so let's let's look at it from here let's do g and then z to bring it down to right about here and then let's do s to scale it up let's go to our top view again so we've scaled it up to somewhere here let's go back to our, our shading this the shading mode and then let's jump into edit mode okay so let's do e to exclude the z axis somewhere here let's do e and then s let's bring it down here e s and then es and let's fill this with our grid fill okay so let's do control b add uh, control r to add a loop cut here then we do control b to bevel give us two two faces so let's bevel it to somewhere here okay so it's these faces selected we can Hold control click to select all these faces. We go to our selects and then we do checker the selects. Okay. Then with our checker the select, we are going to choose our extrude along normals. Then we are going to extrude it inside. Inside a bit like this. Okay top out of edit mode and let's add our subdivision surface modifier to it right click and shade smooth okay so we'll go into our edit mode and let's add two two loops at uh, one at the top and one at the bottom to tighten up our loops here so we'll do ctrl r and we, set, we click to apply and we'll do ctrl b to bevel let's bring it up like this so we've tightened up our loops let's select this ring here by holding alt click and then alt click to select these two rings you control v to add a new face in the middle and then we are going to select or extrude along normals and then we are going to extrude it up to add a little bit of detail like this Okay, so we are done with our bottle and then our cup let's select the two of them with the shift select let's let's go to the front view and then let's do g z and let's bring it up until it's on our x axis plane like this okay, let's do shift a and let's add our 
by the top so we have added our plane s for scale so let's scale it up okay let's scale it up a little bit more let's tap into edit mode select this edge we do easy to extrude it up like this so let's select this this edge here shift v to bevel r um, scroll my mouse wheel up to add more the cuts and then we tab out of edit mode and we shade it smoothly okay so now let's check whether our normals are facing at the right position so that we don't get our materials messed up later so to do that we go here then we do face orientation we take face orientation and now you can see our our bottle is facing the other way that's why it's red so we tap into edit mode we do a to select all but if you find out that your bottle is blue well it's good to go but mine is red so i have to flip the normals i'll hit f3 and we search for normals we we'll go flip alt n to flip so now my normals are facing the right position as you can see okay so let me turn it off once again so let's bring our keta here drag to create another workspace here this is where we are going to set up our camera like this Okay, and let's drag here and this will be our shader for our shader editor so let's tap n go to view and then lock camera to view let's hit n to hide it once again and let's position our our bottle inside of our camera like this okay so let's add a i'm going to use an hdri to light our scene so I'll scroll to this place. I'm going to choose this one here. And then I'll go to my render properties. And I'm going to change my render engine to cycles. I'm going to change the device to GPU compute. Okay. So we are using cycles right now. So to add our HDRI, we will come here and then we change from object to world. And we select this. Make sure our node wrangler add-on is enabled. You do control T to add an environment texture. So we we'll hit open and then we we'll look we we'll search for our HDRI. HDRI. So if you don't have an HDRI, you, you can go to HDRI Haven. They have a lot of cool HDRIs for you to download. So you go browse. And then you can you can just get one of these it's easy and free to download and then you can insert it inside so i'll choose this hdri you can choose any of them it will work fine now import it in so to see what it looks like this what is lighting our our scene here okay so i'm going to zoom in zoom in back okay so i'll select i'll select my my backdrop i'll change this to object i'm going to add a new texture I'll change the base color to something like this this kind of blue yes okay i'll select my my jar my bottle i'll add a new material let's decrease the roughness and then increase our transmission and then our index of refraction we are going to do 0.4 six okay so with our jar selected let's add a solidify modifier to add a little bit of thickness inside so let me zoom in let's okay let's increase it seems our our jar is coming through so let's increase this let's scale it up a bit with s uh -huh. so let me hide let's rename this to cap And then this to be our back drop 
And then this will be our our bottle. Okay. So let me hide our cup for a bit. And let's add let's add a solidify modifier. okay so now you can see our, our our cup is now looking more like a plastic now let's add a solid wire modifier to our cup to our bottle so let's make sure your bottle is selected go to add modifier and then go to solidify right so now our, our bottle is looking more like a plastic instead of a glass, as you can see. Okay. So let's control, let's change the randomizer roughness a bit by adding a noise texture. we we'll do noise. Then let's add a color ramp to control the amount we want. So I'll plug my color into the factor, then I'll plug my color into roughness. So let's increase the black and then let's change it from black. So black stands for zero and white stands for one. So one is one of one amount of roughness and black is zero amount of roughness. Okay. So Let's change our white to something gray. Okay, so we increase our black so that we have more of this, but it's not the whole object is not completely rough. There are some roughness and then there are some some places that are not rough, which is represented by this here. So to check what our noise texture is doing, we can select this color ramp and then we do shift control and then we click on it. So this is what our noise texture is doing. So all the black parts will be completely rough and then all the other parts will be a bit, a bit, will be, will not, will be very smooth and rough and then all the other parts will not be. So let me select this and let me put it back into my surface. Okay, so it's it's subtle. You you might not see it, but again, it's it's, it's a little bit of detail. You know, to come a long way in making our our render more realistic. Okay, so let me unhide my cap. So we have our bottle and cap ready. Let's quickly model our our capsule. So we do Shift A, go to Mesh, and then we go to our round cube. So if you don't have this round cube, you have to go to our, your preference, edit preference, add on, and then search for extra. So we have extra mesh and extra object. Make sure you have these two enabled. It will give you extra, a lot of extra stuff. So let me quickly save to continue. Let's save this uh, file. We we'll do Control S, and then. I'll save it on my desktop. So I'll do fill jar. Fill jar. Now I'll save it on my desktop. So you can save it wherever you want, obviously. So we have a pill ready. Let's add our label to it. So to do that, we that make sure our pill is selected jump into edit mode control r to add loop cut control b to bevel so that we have two cut here okay so with this face selected we are going to duplicate while doing shift d so we have another face like this okay so shift d and then we do p and we will do separate by selection so this is now a different this this is now a different um different geometry from the bottle so let's name this to label okay 
now let's come to our materials properties let's do let's click on this new material to copy okay let's let's remove our roughness out of it and let's delete all of this let's change the transmission to zero okay we have something like this let's do s and hold shift to scale it up but before let's make sure our origin is set properly so we'll go to up with objects set origin we'll do origin to geometry so that our origin is set properly so we'll do s for scale we we'll hold shift then we scale it up like this okay so let's add loop cuts one at the top and one at the bottom to make sure we strengthen our our geometry so we we'll do ctrl r click and then we we'll do ctrl b to bevel and we drag it up like this so we have one loop cut at the top and then one at the bottom okay so we are going to add a png and make it transparent so to do that we we'll add an image texture okay so we we'll select our psdf and we we'll do ctrl t to add this here and i'll go to open I'm going to look for my png so this here i'll open i'm going to add it so it's black now that's fine we do control a shift a and we look for transparent here we have our transparent here we're going to do shift a look for mix shader here okay we'll plug our transparent into here and we plug this one into here and then we plug our shader into the surface okay so we are going to drive our transparency with this our png file here so let's put it in here okay let's put it in the factor of our mesh shader okay now let's change let's go to our materials and let's change our viewport display our blend modes to alpha blend okay our material is not showing what's the reason let's drag this right here let's change this to our edit uv editor let's tap into edit mode and then let's make sure all of this geometry is selected let's do u and unwrap okay so now it's showing but let's make sure we've unwrapped our material properly so i'll come here i'm going to select this by holding shift now I'll, I'll do u and i'll go max scene okay so I've marked this place as my scene. I'll do L to select all, and then I'll hit U for UV, and I'll do unwrap once again. So now we come here and let's select everything. Do R for rotate. I'll do R X rotate it on the X axis. Negative. 19. So now let me do S to scale it up like this. And we we'll go to our image, image texture here, node here. And let's go change this from repeat to clip. Then let's position it. It's facing upside down so let's do let's do r x 90 180 now it's facing the right direction so let's position it like this let me do s to scale it up a bit and then do g let me get somewhere here And do G and bring it right here. Yeah. 
So we have our transparent material applied to our bottle. Okay. So next, we are going to select this label. Then we are going to select this. And then we are going to select our cap. So make, let's make sure our jar is selected last. So we do cap. Okay, so we still have our we still have our bottle up piercing through the cap. So let's do S and then let's hold to scale it up so that we don't have that. I'm going to open it up anyway, but let's do that for now. So let's select our cap, our bottle. Let's select our cap, our label, and then our bottle. Let's make sure our bottle is the active object. And then I'm going to do P. I'm going to do control P. Then we are going to parent this all of this to this so now if we move our bottle everything moves along okay so next we are going to do our simulation so to do that okay so we are doing our simulation next To do that, we select our bottle and let's open it up. Hold G. Let's bring it somewhere here. And double tap R to rotate it to somewhere here. And then let's select our, our bottle G to bring it up like this. Double tap R. And let's rotate it somewhere here. Let's select this, double tap R. Let's select. Dive into edit mode and let me move so that. Okay. Let's do R, the Z axis. Let me select this one here. Yeah. Uh, okay. Just trying to show up my my label. Let me select this G to bring it somewhere here. Yeah. And double tap R to find a very beautiful, uh, very nice angle. Yeah, so I think we can go on. Let's model our pill. We'll do Shift A, Mesh, and then I'll go to my round cube. So with my round cube selected, I'll change my operator preset to capsule. I'm going to decrease my arc to three. Yes, I think three is fine. Let me do G. Let me bring it up somewhere here so that we see what we are doing. Okay. So I'll do S for scale. I'm going to scale it down. Like to right about here. Do S and scale it on the Z axis. Okay. So we right click and do shade smooth. And then let's add a subdivision surface modifier to it. We go to subdivision surface and add a subdivision surface modifier to it. I'll tab into edit mode with this selected. I'll do control R and I'll add one loop cut at the middle. Okay. So I'm going, I'll go to my S ray mode. Now, before I do that, let's add the material quickly. So let me bring this up like this and then with this selected oh hit new to add a new material okay i'll go to my materials tab and i'll change my base color to red 
I'm doing a red and yellow tablet, red and yellow pill. I'll change my base material to red. I'll increase my roughness. I'll click this and I'll jump into edit mode. I'm going to select, make sure my x ray is turned on, and then I'm going to select all these faces here. And then I'll hit plus to add a new material and then assign. Go here and let's select this same material for a second and let's hit here to add to make a copy of that material. Okay, so let's come here and then let's change it to to our yellow pill. And then let's hit assign to assign it to the top part, the selected part. Okay. So we have our red and yellow pill ready. See. Now let's do our simulation. Okay. So let's let me change this to my let me change it here for to allow for fast viewing. So I'll select this one here. This I'll select my capsule. Now I'll do G. I'll bring it up to somewhere here. Yes. G. I'll bring it up to somewhere here. And go to my top view. Make sure it's aligned. G. Okay. So we are going to do our rigid body simulation here. Okay. Let me turn off my S remote so that we can see what we are doing. up a bit like this okay so let me go to my modified stop and then i'm going to apply my subdivision surface modifier i'm going to click and i'll apply my i'll choose array okay so in the x we do zero and then on the z we do one let's add it a little bit so that we have a little bit of spacing let's add let's increase the count to 20 we have a lot of pills to work with. Okay. So let's add another array. Now. So in this array, we have this. Let's look at it from the S axis so that we make sure it's, it's going to fall into our cube. So in the, with our second array, Let's increase this a bit. We are increasing the space in a bit. I'll make sure it's falling straight into our into our our bottle. Okay. So now let's apply our array modifiers. We we'll do apply. Then we hit here, then we do apply. Okay. So let's tap into edit mode. Let's tap out. Let's tap into edit mode. A to select all. Then we we'll do shift D, duplicate. Let's move it to somewhere here. Okay. A to select all once again. Then we we'll do P, and we're going to separate by loose parts. Okay, so now we've separated all of them to different parts. Let's go to, let's tap out of edit mode. We go to objects, then we set origin. We set origin to geometry. So that we reset each and everyone's origin to the, to the center of the geometry. Okay, 
so now what we are going to do next is let's make sure we put all of this in in a collection so we hit m then we, we hit new collection and let's name it pills okay we hit okay so with all selected in this active let's go to object and then let's go to link then we are going to link object data okay now let's select our main cube this one the first one around cube and then let's go to add let's go to our our rigid body then we add a rigid body let's make it let's make it active let's change the shape to a capsule right fixed well okay so now we are going to select all again all our 79 cubes okay. all our 79 capsules sorry all our 79 capsules and then we go to objects go to objects rigid body and then we go apply copy from active okay so now let's select our bottle let's add let's add a rigid body and let's make it pass let's change the shape from concave hall to mesh and let's select our, our backdrop and let's add a rigid body let's make it passive and then let's change it to mesh once again so our rigid body simulation is ready okay so let's quickly change this to our timeline and let's hit play okay let's see what we have Changing my render mode. Okay, so we have this. Okay, let me come back and second and uh, let's to, to to get a little bit of randomness let's select this here let's do g let's move it outside a bit so that we get some of our pills falling on our falling on our plane and all that or falling on our backdrop so we get a little bit more interesting on that so let's do play to simulate it once more but first let me change it to here so that we see it simulates quickly. Right. So let's change it back and see what we have now. Let's hide everything here. Let's simulate it once more. Again, I'm just playing around to make sure I find what works for me best. I'll do G. I'm going to bring this right here. Okay. Let me change it to here so that it simulates very quickly. So I think this is fine. Let me check. Yeah, so this fine for me. Now let's add some extra lights to our scene. Okay. So to do that, I'll do shift A. And I'm going to I'm going to select my lights. I'll do area light. Do G easy. And I'll bring it up. Do S to scale it up like this. Just to scale it up even a bit more. Do G Z. I'll bring it up like this. So I'll increase my power to 100. And then 
here and here i'm going to fill it in with a plane now we cut those kind of nice reflections so to do that we do shift a in the mesh we do plane okay i'll do i'll do g and then i'll move it on the y axis i'll bring it to somewhere here i'll rotate it on the x axis 90 degrees okay i'll do s to scale it up g z to bring it up like this so i'll do s z to scale it up on the z axis okay so I'll add a new material i'll change the emission to white so we're going to give it an emission shader to white we're going to change the emission strength to something like three right okay so i think it's facing the other way so let's rotate it on the z axis like this so let's do 180 minus 180 so it's yz minus 180 Our simulation of jumped out of our, our scene for some reason. We we'll fix that. So let's go to our timeline. Okay, so it's hidden. Let me unhide it. Okay, we'll do our simulation again. But well, let's work our lights. So let's do G and let's bring it closer. Let's increase. Let me go back to my shader editor. <coughs> I'm going to increase my emission. Something like this. So you see this reflection. Which you see. I'm going to I'm going to Y. I'm going to move it out. My scene like this. Then increase my emission. So I'll do shift D. To duplicate it and bring it here okay then we do s x to increase our reflection here okay so let me do my simulation once again so i'll change this to my timeline and then let's hit play to do our simulation once again I think somewhere here it's nice okay so we have this let's add one at the front so I'll select this shift D to duplicate bring it here I'm going to rotate it on the Z as this RC I'll do 90 make sure this is selected I'll do RC 90 the Z Alex. So let's go to our viewport. With this selected, let's go to our object properties. Let's go here. Object properties. And then we go to visibility. So we hide camera. Right. So it's not visible in the camera. G and the Y axis in the here. It's not, it's not visible in the camera, but it's giving us this nice reflection here. Let me do G, C, Y. So let me bring it back like this. Let me select my backdrop. Let's go to our shader editor. I'm just going to increase my backing it up. And then increase the roughness a bit. So we have something let me x to delete the slides okay. let me select my and let me add a new material let's make sure it's a little bit dark okay so yeah this is it 
So to render, go to render properties, color management. I usually like it at standard. You can go filmic as well and high contrast. Okay, so in this case, let's do filmic and then um, medium contrast. Zoom in, in a bit and then I'll go to my render, render image. And then I'll render my image. Alright guys, this is my final render. To save, you go to image and then you hit save. You choose your destination. You go with JPEG. I usually go with JPEG. I'll increase my my quality. Then I'll name it. So I'll hit save. To save it thank you very much for watching if you like this video please consider subscribing see you on the next one bye